wasn't supposed to be this way. This isn't how things started. There was an order that made sense that the way it was supposed to be, God was God, angels were angels, man was man, woman was woman. That's how it was supposed to be. And it was good, very good. So when angels and man wanted to be like God, that things went from very good to tragically bad. Satan is crafty, cunning, deceptive, deceitful, slick and sly. He knows exactly what button to push, what itch to scratch, what temptation is going to work. He's no dummy either. He doesn't approach you when and where you are strong. He knows your weaknesses, your desires of body and soul. He knows exactly how to exploit your sinful inclinations in nature. He doesn't come lurking around in red tights with horns and a pitchfork so you can immediately recognize him and put up your defenses. That would make it too easy to defeat him. He slides in unsuspectingly, hardly noticeable, like a covert operative you don't see until it's too late. The Holy Gospel for the first Sunday in Lent is always the temptation narrative. Christ faced temptation like one of us in your place. The assaults of the devil seemed harmless enough. Jesus certainly could have given in to them and made a show of his power and authority by giving in to those temptations. They were lies. All lies. The devil was trying to break Jesus. Satan wanted nothing more than for Jesus to fail like Adam. But Jesus would not. He would not give in to temptation and leave you damned in your sin. The new Adam came into the world to lead you out of your slavery to sin, death, and the power of the devil with a strong, outstretched arm of God on the cross. Jesus could have bent a knee in the mountain to Satan, but that would not have saved you. Now Christ would go to another mountain, and rather than bowing a knee, he bowed his head in death. Your sin required it. My sin required it. So Christ willingly humbled himself to the point of death, even death on a cross, for you. Christ is your help, your only help, your Savior. In times of trials and temptations, in times of joy and well-being, in times of sadness and pain, in times of tragedy, great and small, in times of glory and honor, in the hour of death itself, and in the day of judgment. Christ has helped you. Christ has saved you. Thus Christ is able to help all who are tempted, all who groan and waste away in sin, all who are tempted and face tragedy from poor choices, all who endure the tribulations of a world plagued with sin and death, all who are slaves to sin, to the world, and to the devil, to you, to me, to everyone. Christ Jesus is your glorious Savior, the one who endured temptation and triumphed for you. Thanks for watching us talk at you. If you want to see us talk at you some more, subscribe to see notifications when we talk at you the next time. Donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. Help us to help you. And if you like this video, check out our website at higherthings.org and check out more content from Higher Things.